Scientists have recently observed some unusual signals coming from the closest solar system to ours. It turns out that the signals are coming from the planet Proxima b, located in the solar system closest to ours. These artificial lights have left the brightest minds in space research baffled and curious. The question on everyone's mind is, what exactly are these lights, and could they be the missing piece in the search for intelligent life? Could it be possible that there is an entire civilization just right next door to us? Recently, a signal was discovered coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri, which is our closest neighbor star, located just four light years away. The signal is currently being analyzed by a team of experts to make sure it is not just an echo from our own civilization, which is typically what these types of signals turn out to be. However, this time there seems to be a different cause. Looking directly at the planets in Proxima Centauri, scientists are trying to determine if there are any intelligent life forms in the solar system. From space, the most obvious sign that a planet is inhabited by intelligent life is the glow coming from the night side of the planet. But our current generation of telescopes is not powerful enough to detect the lights on distant worlds. Researchers are testing the capabilities of the next generation of telescopes, including the James Webb Telescope. This sophisticated telescope, which was born after a few decades and $10 billion, is capable of seeing as far back in time as 50 million years before the Big Bang. However, detecting a speckle of light on an exoplanet is currently close to impossible. If the planet glows enough, we would be able to see if another civilization has their lights on, shining at the dark side of the planet. The possibility of techno-signatures from Alpha Centauri has sparked a new study on the detectability of artificial lights on Proxima Centauri b. From what we already know, the planet checks several boxes that make it a likely candidate for having intelligent life. It is located in the habitable zone of its star, making it a world that we can hope to learn more about with the help of new instruments, such as the James Webb Space Telescope. New studies also point to Louvoir, or the Large UV Optical IR Surveyor, which is a multi-wavelength space-based observatory with a possible launch in 2035. The authors Elisa Tabor and Avi Loeb from Harvard University have pointed out that a tidally locked planet like Proxima b, which is one where one side of the planet is permanently facing the sun and the other side is in perpetual darkness, would need artificial lighting in order for a technological culture to develop around it. This is especially relevant since we have recently received an unusual signal from this planet, making it a reasonable proposition that there could be alien technology present. There are several ways to determine if alien technology exists on a planet. For example, we may be able to observe the light from a distant world through a telescope or detect atmospheric pollution that could be a result of nuclear conflict. However, these indicators of technology could also be caused by natural phenomena like orbiting debris or a comet impact, making it important to differentiate between artificial and natural light sources. Tabor and Loeb used the long-range, high-resolution imagery of the Webb telescope to search for alien light in 2021. Although the telescope was not fully operational at the time, the researchers were still able to gather some results. The Webb telescope is trained on Proxima b, the only confirmed planet in the Proxima Centauri system, which is 4.25 light-years away. Proxima b is considered a potential host for a civilization as it is located in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri, which is an M-class red dwarf star that is only 12% the mass of our Sun. Proxima b is more massive than our planet, with a mass of 1.6 Earth masses and a radius of 1.3 times that of Earth. It orbits Proxima Centauri in just 11.2 days, covering a distance of 7 million kilometers, which is less than 5% of the distance at which Earth orbits the Sun. Tabor and Loeb estimated the level of artificial illumination reflecting from the day side of Proxima b, using a scale of 0 to 100%. 0% meaning that the night side of the planet is completely dark, and 100% meaning that the night side of the planet is as bright as the day side. However, this is not a possibility, as the type of light used by the hypothetical civilization on Proxima b is assumed to be similar to LEDs on Earth, which have distinct artificial characteristics. So far, the researchers using the Webb telescope have discovered that if the artificial nightside illumination of Proxima b 
reaches 5% of the natural dayside illumination, the telescope could detect the artificial illumination with 85% certainty. If it were to reach 9%, the detection rate of the Webb telescope would rise to 95%. When searching for extraterrestrial life, one of the key indicators that a planet may host intelligent life is the amount of light it emits. This light can be a result of the civilization itself, as they illuminate their cities and infrastructure, or it can be reflected light from a star that is shining onto the planet. Researchers Tabor and Loeb have suggested that a planet must emit 5% of the light that its host star emits in order for it to be detected by telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope. However, this 5% threshold is only for a star as bright as our own sun. For a star as faint as Proxima Centauri, which is 20 times dimmer, even a small amount of light from a civilization would still be detectable. This is because the light from Earth's artificial illumination is only 0.001% of the reflected solar illumination. If a civilization on Proxima b were to have the same level of illumination as us, the James Webb Space Telescope wouldn't be able to detect it. The lights would need to be 5,000 times brighter for that scenario to be plausible. Proxima b is an interesting case, as it orbits its host star so closely that it has become tidally locked. The dark side of the planet is where it is most likely to host intelligent life, but for that to be possible, the civilization would need to have a robust lighting infrastructure. Another hypothesis is that very bright orbital mirrors could be used to reflect light onto the night side of the planet, making it visible to telescopes. In the future, telescopes such as the Large UV, Optical Infrared Surveyor, and the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory may be even better equipped to spot the glow of a distant civilization. These telescopes are designed to catalog and directly image exoplanets and are scheduled to launch in 2035. In order to test this, researchers used virtual Louvoir and Habex observatories on several star systems with known worlds like Proxima b and hypothetical Earth-like planets orbiting G, K, and M-class stars. They also created a model to simulate the amount of urbanization on a planet's surface, as the more urbanized a planet is, the brighter its night side will appear. The model used the most common lights found on Earth, such as high-pressure sodium streetlights, which have a distinguishable spectrum from natural starlight. The researchers tested three variables, the distance of the planet from Earth, the level of urbanization, and the type of star the planet is orbiting. The virtual scopes imaged each scenario for a minimum of 100 hours to collect enough light to resolve the target. It is important to note that Earth's surface is only about 0.05% urbanized, so if telescopes were peering at us from Proxima Centauri, they wouldn't be able to detect us. However, if a civilization on a distant planet were more urbanized, it would be easier to spot. A planet that is 100% urbanized would be ideal for detection, but it raises questions about what exactly 100% urbanization means. An Acumenopolis is a city planet, where the entire surface is covered in an unending urban landscape. It may seem like a science fiction concept, but it is plausible for an advanced civilization to completely encase their planet in a city. The artificial lights of such a planet would not go unnoticed by our current telescopes, making it possible to detect. Proxima b, for example, is a planet that has gained attention for its proximity to our solar system and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The thought of discovering a city planet like an Acumenopolis is intriguing and exciting. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.